Federal authorities raided two homes owned by entertainment mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Sources tell CBS News the simultaneous searches are part of a possible sex trafficking investigation by federal agents in New York. The fact that you see federal law enforcement raiding two of Sean Combs' homes indicates that they think that there is evidence of potential wrongdoing at those residents. So I think we're about to see something on the level of Epstein, Weinstein, to the power of tech. It's time for the world to get justice and see one of the most disturbing music executives get what he deserves. Authorities are raiding Diddy's homes and they've gotten computers, cell phones, hard drives, and much more. But the worst part is that what they found is much more evil than they ever anticipated. So let's get into it. If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. If there's one person I wouldn't want to be right now is P. Diddy because things are not looking good for him. And honestly, it is about time. I mean, Sean Combs' home was raided as part of a trafficking investigation. This is not a movie. This is not fake news. This is the dark side of Hollywood unraveling in front of our eyes. Officials raided two of Diddy's homes on Monday. A law enforcement source confirmed to Rolling Stone that it was part of a federal trafficking investigation led by the Homeland Security. Keep in mind that this raid happened about four months after Cassie first came forward, and I have to give a lot of props to Cassie. Even though she did settle her case, she opened the doors to a lot of people paying attention to his dark past. Footage of the scene appeared to show some men, later identified as Diddy's sons, Justin and King, detained and waiting outside their home. Officials were also present at Diddy's Miami residence. Diddy was in Florida at the time of the raid. Officials reportedly seized his phone before the Bad Boy Records executive was scheduled to leave for a trip to the Caribbean. When I first saw that news, I thought he was trying to depart and escape. And can you imagine if he ran away from all of this? But uh, uh, I really don't think he had any idea this was coming and probably was really caught off guard and probably really scared at what they're going to uncover because it might actually be worse than what they're even initially looking Federal for. Federal authorities raided two homes owned by entertainment mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Armed authorities could be seen at his estates outside of L.A. as well as in Miami. Now this comes after multiple months of sexual misconduct allegations against Comb. The way that they're raiding that home is giving hostage, it's giving military. Like there's going to be some like victims that are leaving his property. I mean, God forbid. All right, they just made their way in. Growing concerns today after armed Homeland Security agents raided the L.A. and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Monday. Sources tell CBS News the simultaneous searches are part of a possible sex trafficking investigation by federal agents in New York. The way that this is getting so real, I mean, especially in my recent videos, we've made a lot about these people coming forward about Diddy. I mean, remember that one guy he hired like this escort who like randomly died? It's one of my more recent videos on Diddy, but this all kind of like is starting to add up. I mean, I'm curious to what they uncover. The fact that you see federal law enforcement raiding two of Sean Combs' homes indicates that they think that there is evidence of potential wrongdoing at those residents. You can see people in handcuffs outside of Combs' California property, though no sign of Diddy himself. Not the handcuffs. We love to see the justice served, though, but I'm curious to what exactly the crimes will be. A source says four Jane Doe's and one Jane Doe already sat for interviews with the Southern District of New York investigators for a probe related to trafficking, domestic violence, and racketeering. And supposedly there are more scheduled, like more interviews, so even more people do talk. Homeland Security expert Hal joined Fox 11 during breaking news coverage and said there have been allegations that he had been drugging young women and that the agency is likely looking into alleged crimes committed in multiple states. Hal added some evidence they're looking for include laptops, flash drives, anything that would connect Sean Combs with the allegations. In addition, he says obtaining a search warrant of this magnitude requires a lengthy process and that working with state and local officials was required. So it's not like a willy-nilly like P. Diddy, let's go check it out. We've got some allegations. Like they had to go through a lot of approvals to do this and then to like, you know, just show up 
upon him to retrieve their evidence. The feds are doing raids at three different homes of P. Diddy, including his homes in California, in Florida, and in New York. And what I think they're looking for are videos. So basically, P. Diddy had a habit, allegedly, based on told to us through the filings by uh, Cassie Ventura. They have all said that he had a habit of liking to video either him abusing other people or in, you know, forcing other people to abuse each other for his pleasure and how would record all of that. So I think those are some of the things that the feds are looking for. Cassie's lawyer put out a statement saying, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those who have violated the law. Hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Diddy responsible for his depraved conduct. Which I think is interesting because, okay, what if they settled and Cassie got paid a large amount of money, but then like the cops came to her and said, hey, you have to tell us what happened. Can she keep the settlement money and also like tell them what actually happened? Because that is an interesting balance between the two. An attorney named Tyrone said, it's about damn time. Sometimes justice delayed is not justice denied as long as justice ultimately arrives. Which I love that quote. And I think it's important that eventually there will be justice. And some people call it karma, but I think, you know, it's, it shows that like there is a right side and a wrong side. And even though, you know, Diddy's been able to be on the wrong side for so long, it's going to eventually get right and he's going to get his punishment. Alex, Christine, this right here, it is is the lawsuit. It is 75 pages of just shocking allegations. Many legal experts say the accusations are very similar to those of Jeffrey Epstein's case. The Southern District of New York, I think it's the same office that has tried to pro or has prosecuted Donald Trump. So they do not go easy on anyone. They are one of the most prestigious in the country. If they're bringing a case against him, Diddy has a lot to worry about. Keep in mind, it's not just Cassie. There are multiple women and men who were all forced into Diddy's sick, you know, I guess fantasies and they're not even fantasies it's really just crime and trauma and so many people were affected so it's going to be a really big case against him jones lived and traveled with diddy for 13 months the complaint states mr jones was sexually harassed and assaulted by mr combs it also states mr combs required mr jones to solicit sex workers the complaint goes on to claim diddy has hidden cameras in every room of his homes and that there are recordings of celebrities music label executives politicians and athletes in compromising positions keep in mind cassie claimed that diddy punched kicked and stomped on her and forced her to have drug fueled intercourse with male sex workers during arrangements that he dubbed as freak offs. Diddy has denied any wrongdoing in each case, but he has stepped down as the chairman of his Revolt TV media company last year. In January, a liquor giant, Diago, cut him loose in a private settlement under which Diddy will no longer be a joint owner of the tequila brand De Leon or have ties to Ciroc vodka and now that all of diddy's you know skeletons are coming out of his closet other people are being dragged down with him as well young miami is a rapper and she was accused of transporting quote pink cocaine to diddy so at one point there was a romantic relationship between diddy and young miami and they dated for about a year now of course they are no longer dating but lil rod put in a lawsuit and he's got some allegations in there including some about diddy's son justin combs Rodney Jones, also known as Little Rod, sued the music mogul earlier this year for SA and harassment. He reportedly worked as a videographer and producer for Diddy. During his employment, Little Rod alleges that Diddy used multiple methods in attempt to groom him into relations. Those methods reportedly including groping his privates, parading around naked, and um, harming him, I guess, uh, we assault from associates connected to and directed by Diddy. In the initial filing, Lil Rod accused a cousin of Young Miami's of essaying him. Oh, God. According to court documents, City Girls rapper allegedly got pink cocaine, which is a mix of ecstasy and and coke and would bring this to diddy kind of as a little like drug mule now young miami isn't the only one getting dragged into all of this because Lil rod has a bunch of different interesting stories that he wants to share about diddy and what he witnessed Lil rod alleges diddy was quote grooming him to pass him off to his friends 
This fear became reality when Mr. Combs introduced Mr. Jones to Cuba Gooding Jr. when they were on Mr. Combs' yacht. There's actually photos of their interaction together too, which are laid out in those court documents. In the first pic, you see Diddy and Cuba talking with Diddy's arms on Cuba's. In the next pic, Cuba has his arm around Lil Rod and is smirking. Court docs go on to state, quote, Cuba Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones's legs, his inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. Now, the lawsuit also mentions J-Lo, who was a part of Diddy's life for some point, and honestly, she really escaped a lot by ending that relationship. Lil Rod's team brings up J-Lo when establishing Diddy's history, writing his, quote, Rico Enterprise has existed for at least 20 years, dating back to the 1999 nightclub shooting in NYC, when Mr. Combs required his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez to transport his illegal firearm into the NYC nightclub. The court docs allege Diddy forced his then-artist Shine to assume responsibility for the shooting of several individuals. Now, you guys may agree that Lil Rod is exposing a lot. There's more because he says that Diddy would bring prostitutes to his home in Miami and on one occasion he was present at the house and was drugged and possibly R-worded. There's also evidence that he included. There's one photo of Diddy with an underage female and another underage female just hanging around him. He also alleges that at parties Diddy intentionally served women bottles of his tequila and vodka brands laced with drugs. And of course there are other allegations like Diddy bringing underage girls to his home and providing them with drinks. Diddy's lawyer Sean said, Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an underserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events are pure fiction and simply did not happen. Yeah, he's got the evidence. Yeah, he's got the evidence. Okay, maybe that's why they're being so aggressively defensive here. Diddy actually claims that he's a victim of cancel culture and he's trying to dismiss this lawsuit. Diddy has taken a new stance in hopes to persuade the judge to dismiss these lawsuits where he's been accused of participating in a gang R word, which is a really big ask of him to you know, have the balls to go and ask the judge to say, hey, yeah, you want to dismiss this? Because I'm just, you know, I'm just famous and I'm being targeted by cancel culture. Diddy and his team believe that allegations made against him have caused irreparable harm to the defendant's reputations. Quote, the lawsuit has resulted in them becoming victims of the cancel culture frenzy in courts well before any evidence has been presented on the basis of rank. So really, this lawyer can make up any excuse he wants to, but I think it's about time that Diddy is in trouble. So, um, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And of course, we're going to be staying right on top of this story and tell you guys what happens next. But let's go ahead and open this peel box package item. It says it's from shipping clerk. So I don't know like what that is. But if you guys ever want to send me a peel box package item, I have my address listed below. Let's go ahead and see. Maybe there's a note. Okay, so it looks like I got a lot of skincare. So we've got this like antiperspirant underarm wipes and then we wait we've got these anti-sweat wipes which is like really interesting okay and it looks like this brand is called carp carp cute oh my god i'm so excited spf primer underarm lotion oh my gosh i'm gonna have to try this and tell you guys what it's like we've got a scalp syrup oh my god do you guys know that i have dry scalp because oh, it's looking obvious oh my gosh you guys sent me so much i don't even Oh, it smells really good though. This is so nice. Thank you. So it looks like this product. Oh, there's so much of it. It looks like these products are made for like sweaty people like me. Women's powder. We've got like hand lotion, anti-sweaty. We've got like anti-sweaty face lotion. Like wait, I'm the sweatiest person ever. How did you know? We've got oh breast lotion. What does that mean? Breast lotion. I guess you put it on your boobies. Sweat absorbing thigh lotion. For the ones with the thick ones like me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I do have a thick ass. I, I'm going to have to definitely give some to a friend. But thank you so much, Carp. I will list you guys below because I definitely like, especially at the gym and stuff, I sweat so much on my hands that I can't even like pick up the weight. So, you know, the weights. But uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of this. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.